How to Reduce Chicks Mortality Rate In this video, we will let you know the tips that can reduce the mortality rate in newly hatched chicks, but first, we should talk about the causes of this high chicks mortality. There are main four common factors that causes high mortality in newly hatched chicks. Number 1, Genetic Causes, there are around 21 lethal gene mutations in birds. Most of these lethal genes lead to chicks' death during the incubation period. However, congenital tremors and congenital loco cause the death of chicks within a week of hatching. Number 2, Management Causes, poor management also causes chicks' mortality, that includes high brooding temperature, low brooding temperature, starvation and inadequate feeders and drinkers. Number 3, Nutritional Causes, unhygienic water and fat-soluble vitamin deficiency are nutritional causes. Number 4, Disease Causes, young chicks are susceptible to infections, and diseases due to a lack of immunity during the first six weeks. It is crucial to maintain biosecurity measures. Failure to do so increases the chances of a disease outbreak. Polarum is again a bacterial infection characterized by ruffled feathers, labor breathing, white diarrhea, chirping, and death. Now we will discuss the 14 tips to reduce mortality rate, but before moving forward towards the 14 golden tips to take care of your chicks, please like this video and subscribe our channel. 14 Ways to Reduce Early Chick Mortality If you're recording a high mortality rate in your poultry farm, it is alarming, and you need to take appropriate actions. Failure to do so can cost you all your investments. Here are the steps that you can take to reduce chick mortality in your poultry farm. Number 1. First things first, buy quality chicks from trusted suppliers. More often than not, the problem begins when you buy poor quality and unhealthy chicks. Most of the health problems affecting birds are due to low genetic background. Hence, it is vital to buy chicks from a reputable and trusted supplier who raises healthy parent stocks. It is also important to know the source of eggs of the hatchery that supplies chicks to you, along with the history of the birds that lay those eggs. Number 2. Inspect the health status. No matter how reliable your supplier is, it is always advised to inspect each bird's health status before you transport them to your farm. Number 3. High and low breeding temperatures lead to high chick mortality. Hence, it is essential to provide your flock with a proper breeding temperature. Failure to do so can wreak havoc on your poultry farm. Number 4. Protect your flock from cold weather or hot weather. Of course, even in your wildest dream, you would not want to see your chicks dying because of cold or hot weather. So, it is important to supply them with heat during very cold weather and cool shelter during hot weather. You can consider designing the pens in such a way that your birds are not exposed to extremely cold or hot conditions. Number 5. Being a poultry owner is not an easy task. You need to take care of your flock and their needs to keep them healthy. Keeping your birds' feeders and drinkers or drinking trough clean is very important. So, make sure you clean them every morning and discard any leftover water and feed. Also, do not fill drinkers with chlorinated water. Number 6. Minimize the risk of suffocating the chicks to death. Birds can quickly suffocate and die when forced to move in the tight corner or inadequate temperature. In a very cold atmosphere, they huddle to keep themselves warm, due to which the birds can suffocate or suffer a fatal injury. To avoid this, make sure that the brooding house's temperature and humidity are at the right levels and uniform throughout the pen. Number 7. Prevent your farm from infections and diseases. Some diseases can be gruesome. They can wipe out your entire flock in a go. Well, some may not be so fatal but may affect the feed conversion ratio of the birds. So, it is crucial to keep checking your flock regularly. In case you detect symptoms for any disease in a bird, immediately separate it from the flock and contact the vet to avoid further damage to your poultry. Number 8. Don't feed your birds with moldy feeds. Moldy feeds can be dangerous and poisonous to your flock. Feeding your birds with moldy feed can lead to severe problems, such as poultry disease. The best way to avoid moldy feeds on your farm is to keep the feeds away from water. Also, do not store the feet in storage rooms with very high humidity, besides, don't buy in bulk. Buy only that much that your birds will finish before the end of its shelf life. And check the expiry dates on the feed before making the purchase. Number 9. Serve your birds water before feeds. Serve your birds water before feeds. It will prevent your flock from stampeding while struggling for food. Birds tend to drink water slower than they pack on their feed. Serving water first will divert some of the bird's attention to water, which will reduce the intensity of the struggle for feed. Number 10. Keep your farm protected from predators. It is imperative to keep predators away from your farm. 
However, you cannot ensure complete protection as some of the predators sneak in from the underneath or the roof. The best way to keep more giant predators like dogs and cats from the range area is by using an electric fence. For flying predators like hawks, crisscross a thin cord over the area to prevent them from flying in and out. Besides, close all the holes around the farm and keep monitoring your farm for predators' signs. You can even install strong iron mesh nets around the pens and apply predator repellents regularly. Number 11. Regularly clean dirty poultry pens. It is essential to clean your filthy poultry pens regularly. Ammonia starts to build up in the pen when the litter is wet or when it is left unattended for a long time. This ammonia gas can be hazardous to your birds. When it exceeds 25 ppm, it leads to severe problems like stress, inadequate feed intake, irritation of the eyes and nasal membrane, slow growth rate, and respiratory diseases like coryza, bronchitis, etc. Thus, it is essential to remove wet or caked litter from pens to prevent your birds from mortality due to choking or other respiratory problems. Number 12. Supply sufficient feed to your birds. The improper or insufficient feed can lead to poor growth and development of your birds. When underfed, birds have low body weights and poor immune responses, due to which they fall sick easily. Likewise, overfeeding can also lead to more significant problems. That is why it is vital to give them enough feed. Number 13. Strictly follow medication and vaccination schedules. Following medication and vaccination is a good farm practice that can help each poultry farm owner greatly. By following medication and vaccination, you can keep endemic disease outbreaks at bay. Make sure you get your birds are vaccinated against contagious diseases like colobacillosis, Newcastle diseases, North Dakota, foul typhoid, chicken anemia virus infection, gumboro disease, foul pox, etc. Talk to your vet and get the right vaccination and medication schedule for the poultry species you're raising. You can also keep a stock of the medicines at the farm to reduce chick mortality. 14 and the last important tip, have a vet regularly check your flock. Have a vet regularly checking your flock of chicken to ensure there are no symptoms of contagious diseases. Remove recovered from the flock as recovered birds are a reservoir of infection. This way, you can keep your other birds safe and healthy. 14 tips we have just discussed in details. Now, let's quickly and very briefly revise these tips. Number 1. Buy chicks only from trusted suppliers. Number 2. Inspect the health status. Number 3. Provide the flock with adequate brooding temperature. Number 4. Protect your flock from cold weather or hot weather. Number 5. Keep drinkers and feeders clean. Number 6. Minimize the risk of suffocating the chicks to death. Number 7. Prevent your farm from infections and diseases. Number 8. Don't feed your birds with moldy feeds. Number 9. Serve your birds water before feeds. Number 10. Keep your farm protected from predators. Number 11. Regularly clean dirty poultry pens. Number 12. Supply sufficient feed to your birds. Number 13. Strictly follow medication and vaccine vaccination schedules. Number 14 and last tip, have a vet regularly check your flock. That's all with this video, we will keep in touch for more poultry related informative and useful videos, thanks for watching, please like and subscribe.